Hello again. I have received a question from an anonymous person and the question that was posed to me was <clears throat> what are your thoughts on the internet dating sex and relationships versus real life dating clubbing and sex and if it, it is okay to start favoring the internet over real life experience so <clears throat> my response is obviously there's pros and cons to every situation I believe the internet's a, a legitimate way to interact with the world. You know, I I love technology, I'm all for it, you know, but the abuse of technology can be detrimental or even fatal. Um, one positive thing about socializing on the internet is that you have a wider range of different types of people to choose from. You know, depending on what site you go or you know, whatever, there's endless possibilities. To, to pick people with um, similar types of interests so you can really learn a lot and have a lot of fun. You know, whereas going out to the clubs, there's really only a few kinds of people out there. You know, typically, you know, just people out there drinking and dancing and, you know, either they don't really have a lot to say or they don't really want to have meaningful conversation. They'd rather just get drunk and have one night stand. I'm not saying all people who go out to clubs are like that. However, I do find a hard time do find it a hard time to imagine actually going out there and finding um, <clears throat> a quality person to to spend you know the rest of your life with. Um, you know. <coughs> You know, I, I outgrew the, the bar and club scene a long time ago. Um, a long, long time ago. I have absolutely no interest in going to a, a crowded, smoke-filled building, you know, dealing with a bunch of drunken schmucks trying to hit on me. You know, and I'm aware that there's other places other than bars and clubs to go to, you know, but... You know, where, where where is it that you do meet people? I mean, what, what kind of places can you go to meet quality people? You know, for the for the most part, um, it it usually happens by chance. You meet someone at work or at school, or you know, you're you're introduced to someone through friends. You know, but you're rarely going to actually find somebody worth worthwhile to, to keep, you know, a, as a permanent relationship at a club. So for people who don't don't work like myself or um, go to school, you know, like uh, older retired people or um, people who, with chronic illnesses that, that can't really get out a lot, you know, the, the Internet is a really good Good, um, good thing to have in your life. It's it's almost a blessing because it's, it's like your window to the outside world. Um, and and if anybody has any suggestions on on places to go, you know, to to meet people other than clubs or bars and you know work and school and places like that, uh, you know, I I really love your input. <coughs> You know, as time goes goes on in a person's life, you know, one usually becomes pretty bored with going out and dealing with people and their dramas, and it's kind of nice just to shut out the world for a little while and, you know, be by yourself. And also at the same time, you know, you, you can go, go on the Internet, and then you have more control over over your, your experience um, and you know it, it's just nice to get connected to people you know via the internet for, for many people you know I see it as a good a good way because of the nature of the internet 
you're most likely to ask people about themselves and, and learn about them and vice versa. And, you know, a lot of the times people feel, you know, more freedom to expose more of themselves uh, to, to another person because there's, there's kind of that feeling of anonymity and also, you know, even if, if you have, you know, webcams and you can see each other, there's still like that, that level of distance, which oddly enough, it makes people feel comfortable enough to, you know, share more and, and ultimately become closer. You know, I, I think that people should definitely uh, watch themselves and make sure that they don't develop a, a serious addiction. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and upload this video and um, finish, finish the rest of, of this topic in the next one.